Hello everyone my name is Srinivas and welcome to my channel Tech Studio 82 please do subscribe to my channel for the upcoming latest technical videos in this video i am going to show you the complete installation setup of mysql database on windows 11 operating system the latest version is 8.0.32 before we move forward there is a prerequisite you should have a internet connection with good bandwidth in order to download the mysql database software file okay then let's move on to the first step that is download In this download step we are going to download MySQL database directly from the mysql.com official website. Let me show you how to download that. Open Google in any web browser and search with the keyword MySQL download. Hit enter. On the screen you can see the Google search results. The first link you can see www.mysql.com which is the official website. Here you can see MySQL downloads. Just click on this link it will direct to the official website that is mysql.com. This is the official website. Just scroll down. Here you can see MySQL community downloads. Just click on this. This is the MySQL community downloads. Here you can see MySQL installer for Windows. Just click on this. On the screen you can see MySQL installer 8.0.32 which is the latest version. Here you can find two download options. One is web installer and the other one is the complete package. You can see the size of the files. Web installer is 2.4 MB. and the complete package is 437.3 mb i'm going with the second option that is the complete package just click on this download it will ask for the login or sign up in the below you can see no thanks just start my download without oracle account also you can directly download just click on this no thanks just start my download on the screen you can see download got started the file size is 437 mb just click on this show all You can see the download progress. It will take hardly some five to six or seven minutes. It all depends upon your internet bandwidth connection. Just have some patience. On the screen, you can see our download got completed. Just click on Show in folder. It will direct to the downloads folder. This is my downloads folder. This is the MySQL installer file that we have downloaded so far. Let's move on to the next step that is installation. In this installation step, we are going for a custom installation. We are going to install MySQL server. MySQL workbench and MySQL shell command terminal. Okay then, let me show you the custom installation. Let's go back to the downloads folder and this is the software MySQL software. Just double click on this. On the screen you can see MySQL installer community. Your system may be prompted for the user control access. Please click on S. Yes. It is initiating startup wizard. Again you may be prompted for the user control access. Just click on S. Yes. This is MySQL installer setup wizard. Now we need to choose setup type. On the screen you can see five different types one is developer server client full and custom i am going with the custom just click on next since we are going with the custom installation we need to select the product from the mysql server tab just drop down this and again drop down this mysql server again drop down this mysql server 8.0 here you can see mysql server 8.0.364 bit version just select this and click on this forward arrow button That's it. You have selected MySQL Server 8.0.3 to 64 bit version. In the similar way, we need to select the application that to be installed. Just minimize this and select this applications and drop down this plus button. And here you can see under the applications you can see MySQL Workbench, MySQL for Visual Studio, MySQL Shell, and MySQL Router. Now I am going to select MySQL Workbench. Drop down this MySQL Workbench and again this MySQL Workbench. Select this. and click on this forward arrow button see you have selected mysql workbench also now minimize this i'm not going to install visual studio and uh, i'm going to install mysql shell just drop down this again drop down this mysql shell select this mysql shell 8.0.3 to 64 bit just click on this arrow button mysql shell you have successfully selected this mysql shell just minimize this i'm not going to select mysql router and uh, just minimize this under here you can see mysql connectors these are all not required and even the documentation these are all not required for us just minimize this just review this products to be installed mysql server i have selected mysql workbench and mysql shell to command terminal these are the three products that i am going to install on my machine just click on next in the next step you can see installation the following products will be installed these are all the three products that we have selected these three products are ready to install you can see the status just click on execute you can see it started installing mysql server and mysql in server installation is completed and currently installing workbench it also completed installing workbench and finally installing mysql shell terminal you can see the current installation progress all this installation process may take 5 minutes of time so please have some patience finally on the screen you can see mysql shell installation completed you can see it successfully installed mysql server workbench and shell terminal so we are good to go for the next step click on next this is the product configuration page you can see you will now walk through a configuration wizard for each of the following products this is the mysql server which is ready to configure just click on next this is a server configuration type 
you can see config type just drop down here you can see three options development computer server computer and dedicated computer i am going with the default one that is development computer and here you can see the connectivity port let it be the default settings and just click on next here you can see authentication method use strong password encryption for authentication which is recommended just click on next in the next step you can see accounts and roles this is the root account password which is the admin you need to set the password for mysql root password i am giving as 12345678 and repeat the password 12345678 if you want to create mysql user accounts just click on this add user here you can assign username and uh, once you drop down the host here you can see the local host you can assign this local host and for the roles if you once you drop down you can see multiple roles you can select for that user whichever the role that suits and for that user you need to provide the credentials you need the password and confirm password right now i'm not going to create a user account just clicking on cancel we have set the root account password just click on next in the next step you can see configure mysql server as a windows service and this is the default windows service name and let it be all the default settings and just click on next in the next step you can see server file permissions this is the default location here you can see do you want mysql installed to update the server file permissions for you yes grant full access just click on next finally whatever the previous we have done this all the steps we need to apply the configuration just click on execute on the screen you can see the configuration steps one by one turning to the green finally the configuration for mysql server 8.0.32 was successful just click on finish to continue just click on finish it finally moved back to the product configuration page you can see mysql server 8.0.3 configuration complete okay you can see the status configuration complete just click on next finally you can see the installation complete the installation procedure has been completed once you click on finish it will start mysql workbench and mysql shell after setup just click on finish on the screen you can see mysql shell command terminal and also mysql workbench this indicates we have successfully installed mysql server mysql workbench and as well as mysql shell terminal let's move on to the next step that is navigation in this navigation step we will just walk through in the installed application let me open the installed applications one by one from the start menu click on all apps just scroll down to this mysql just drop down here you can see mysql command terminal and mysql shell terminal and mysql workbench i'm going to open these three applications one by one first i'm going to open mysql command line just click on this here you can see mysql command line terminal we need to enter the password at the time of installation we have given one two three four five six seven eight just hit enter here you can see welcome to mysql monitor and the sql version 8.0.32 mysql community server i am just querying the databases show databases hit enter here you can see the default databases this is the command line interface now i am closing this now let's open the mysql shell terminal from the start menu all apps mysql just drop down you can see mysql shell just click on this on the screen you can see mysql shell 8.0.32 now i need to create mysql session for this you need to give as backward slash c root at the rate localhost and we need to give the port number 3306 hit enter now we need to give the root password at the time of installation we have given 12345678 just hit enter it is asking for save password for root just type y just hit enter now you can see it created a session for mysql connection and the, you can see the server version 8.0.32 now you can see it is in javascript mode now i need to turn this to sql mode just backward slash sql just hit enter here you can see it turned to from javascript to sql mode okay now you can see mysql localhost ssl sql mode now i'm just querying the database show databases hit enter now you can see the default databases in this way we can make use of mysql shell terminal also now i am closing this application now let's open the mysql workbench from the start menu click on all apps scroll down to mysql drop down this mysql and this is the mysql workbench click on this this is mysql workbench welcome to mysql workbench you can see mysql connections root localhost 3306 just click on this we need to enter the password i'm giving the password as 12345678 just save the password just click on okay see it created a session just querying the databases show databases just execute here you can see default databases mysql workbench is a gui interface a user can create databases and tables as well as user can insert the data whatever the interface that i have shown earlier mysql command terminal and mysql shell command terminal and mysql workbench a user can make use mysql workbench to an extreme extent hope you get an idea on all the three interfaces that's it guys thanks for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon please like and also share my videos to your friends and also please provide your valuable comments on this video your comments are highly valuable thank you guys